Hello members of the 505 users group on Facebook as well as my viewers on YouTube. We're discussing RC505 looping. Also Ableton Push 3. I've made a set on Ableton Push 3 that has uh, several different loopers ready to record here. So we can sort of look into a similar workflow on this machine, which is not designed primarily as a looper. It's a, it's a drum machine and music workstation, basically a portable studio. And then, of course, we have a familiar uh, looping workflow over here with the 505. But I'll show you an example of similar use here. And I'll also make some comments about how they might update the software here. So here's a looper. One, two, three, four. 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 That's my one bar loop there at the beginning, just as I set it up on my 505. Actually, it's a two bar loop, so I don't get the one. One, two, three, four. One, two, one bar loop bug, but um, let's see, I'll turn down the echo. One, two, three. So you can hear what I'm uh, saying. So there, uh, there are send effects here, just like the output effects on a 505. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I have my my five uh, loops. But of course, I could set up any number of tracks here. So it could be eight with the live standard of edition that's included, or if you have live uh, the studio version, you can make as many tracks as you want on the machine. That's that's a lot of tracks. If you if you choose to do that. So I'm fading up the volumes here with these knobs. I wish, I wish we had faders here, but you could hypothetically plug in a USB fader bank into uh, the back of the connection or use MIDI to get your faders going up and down there. Obviously, I wish this interface were a little bit more simplified on the screen and showed a view of the loop and some other things. Also, I had to uh, take it back into Ableton and rearrange it a bit, but let's record some more loops. Now I'm going to record a four bar loop. Now I'm let's see. Now I'm going to record a four bar loop. Now I'm going to record a now Actually, that's I'm only going a to record a See. I'm stopping. I'm gonna record again. Now now I'm going to record a two bar loop. Now I'm going to record a two bar loop. Now I'm going to record it's doing a two bar loop. Now I'm as, going as to record a two bar loop. Now I'm going, going to record a two bar loop. Now I'm going to record a two bar loop. Now I'm going going to record a two bar loop now i'm going to record a two bar loop now i'm going to record a two bar loop now i'm going to record a two bar loop now i'm going to record a two bar loop now i'm going to record a two bar loop i wish i could set loop on here at the i'm going to Amount of loops, I mean the amount of bars and stuff, so hopefully they will improve this user interface as I've asked for. I'm going to record a two bar loop now. So you can go back now I'm going to record a two bar loop. Now I'm going to record a two bar loop. I'm going to record a two bar loop. Record a four bar loop. Now I'm going 
to record a four-bar loop. I'm going to record a four-bar loop. Now I'm going to record you a four-bar loop. I'm going to record the layers. Now I'm going to record you a four-bar layer. I'm going to record a two-bar loop. See, this is too easy to accidentally flip to. Flip over to the record mode. See, there should be buttons, you see. Buttons. Buttons are good. Very, very hard to mess up, whereas this jumps around a lot. But they can fix this. They can fix this with updates. Now I'm going to record a two-bar loop. I'm going to record a four-bar loop. Now I'm going to record a seven-bar loop. I'm going to record a four-bar loop. Now I'm going to record a seven-bar loop. I'm going to record a two-bar loop. instruments built in. So, nice uh, drum sampler section. So add to this.
as you can see, uh, a lot of different possible instruments you could load in to the push. And you can expand them by downloading packs from the website. So there is a huge library of different uh, samples and synthesizers for you to use. I'll go ahead and save this. I'll hold shift and save and it saves a new There we go. So saved my 505 simulation template. Yes, of course you can have a template or you can make a, a file to use as a template on here, just like we usually do on the RC505. Still, I've got to say that, obviously, if you are doing just vocal looping and other things like this, you may still want to stick with a specialized interface of a looper that is basically designed with uh, vocalists and beatboxers, who are a type of vocalist, obviously, to... It's designed for vocalists, so that is its primary uh, thing, whereas with the Push 3, you have a sort of multi-purpose studio in a box that includes features for vocalists, but it also includes so many other things, so it's like, it's not quite as specialized as the 505, but, I mean, with, with my usage of the 505, I'm usually... of other machines like you see on my table so it's like the idea of having a huge amount of possible instruments inside here is amazing and then also the possibility of having not unlimited tracks but a lot of tracks we'll have to find out what is going to be what is going to be the ultimate limit of this processor because what is going to be the ultimate limit of the maximum amount of tracks here that's a good question so uh, we'll find out that later but it's a lot it's a lot so you can stack them up and keep going there you don't have to you don't have to stop at a certain amount plus also you have the in that in that previous uh, section view there I don't know why it turns off my audio but it does in that previous section view in that previous section view all of those uh, layers could be another another audio track and we're not using the standard audio tracks here as we usually would would do we're using the looper specifically but it's like it's expandable with other things so anyway let's finish up this track and then we'll have final thoughts this is the third take I did this video but just I'm still learning this machine obviously so and they're still developing and designing it so let's hope we can influence the design of the software a little bit and make it more easy to use I hope
three, four. One, two, 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 three, So let's loop our final thoughts onto this section. One, two, three, four. Which is that Ableton Push 3. Four. One, Interesting, two, three, uh, fascinating four. new instrument. One, I'm enjoying two, three, learning four. how to play. Yes, One, it's an instrument. Two, three, it's got a computer One, inside, two, though. It's, three, it's built four. with the One, entire... Two, three. The idea that you could have your whole studio in here. So, you know, I was thinking... If a show, uh, you know, for a smaller, medium-sized show, maybe I just bring this instead of my entire set of gear, you know? I am evaluating that sort of idea. I'm evaluating that sort of idea to see. I'm evaluating that sort of idea. I stopped that. See? Stop the track. Even though for some reason I've noticed that sometimes this shifts over by itself. Why does it do that? It must be doing... It must be doing something, but I don't know why. Anyway, so if you want the possibility of making a complicated track, you may like Ableton Push if you can afford it. And, uh, well, Push 3 standalone. And of course there is uh, the earlier versions which are not standalone, or you can buy the three in a not standalone uh, version, which is much cheaper. So, and you have the ability to upgrade, which is is cool. But I'm just going to try some more weird looping with the voices here, see what happens. And uh, the other thing is. You could have other types of loopers written in Max for Live. So that is a cool kind of possible idea that you might experiment with. Experimental programming. Create a new world with your code. <laughs> Create a new world with your code. You know, I was thinking. Now everything is getting really chopped up. Oh, wait. I just realized something also. I left, I left the start-stop of the audio on the 505. Oops. Oops, I did that. But anyway. Just so everyone reminds, uh, you know, all my 505 users already know this like the back, the back of their hand, but... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, it's a five, five six, of seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 eight. Wait, one, control. two, three, four, five. You can control loops and make them play, make them go forward, make them go backward, do various things. It's a simple but effective control method waiting for you to do your thing. So close off that loop there. And then you can control the loops and make them play, make them go forward, make them yet they're used to be your thing. Do various things. It's a simple but effective control method. And make them play, make them go forward, make them go backward, do various things. It's a simple but effective control method waiting for you to do your thing. So close off that loop there. Loop some more layers on the top. Control the loops and make them play. You can make loop some them more forward, layers go on the top. Do various things. If you want to. It's a simple but effective. Loop some more control. layers on the top. Wait and just control them easily. Here they go. Loop there. 
loop some more layers on the top. The loops and make them play in the loops. You can also some more layers on the top. Various things if you want to. It's simple but effective. Loop some more layers on the top. When just open doors and loop some more layers on the top. Loop some more layers on the top. Five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, the Mark II 505 has uh, bouncing as well, which is a great addition, but I don't have one of those here. Let's see, what, what else do we want to say? I want another audio track. All right, I could clone. I could duplicate this audio track. Duplicate track five. Let's look into track six now. There it is, see? I made a sixth track just because I wanted to. And recording some more random stuff. I think it is about time to be done with this video. But it's just a very quick look. I'll come back and do a much more precise video when I really understand how to control everything. And I really hope they improve this interface here. But they really could because it is just the first uh, few months that Ableton Push 3 has been available to the public, basically. So it uh, it's going to be an interesting evolution. Recording some more random stuff. But it's just a very quick look. I'll come back and do a weed neck ad. Here's a very quick look. I'll come back and do a weed neck ad. Here's a very quick look. I'll come back and do a much more precise video where you didn't see us from some weed neck ad. Interesting. I'll come back and do a much more precise video when I really nearly ran away. You didn't see us size video when I really nearly ran away when I really nearly ran away. You didn't see us from some weed neck ad. Recording some more random stuff. <laughs> I think it is about time to be done with this video. But it's I just think it is about time look. to be done with this video. Thank I'll you so much for a much more precise uh, video watching. Understand how to Leave control questions and, and comments. Really Please subscribe here, but. They really to me here on YouTube. It is just the first uh, few but months of that. If you are really Ableton into the Bible, I consider available to becoming a member the of the basically. Facebook group so because it is a great place it, uh, that we talk it's over. It's going to be our, an interesting evolution. We talk over our and techniques and everything. Recording some more random stuff. Can be extremely. I think it is about time. Can be extremely helpful to just get the input of other people. If you want to try and do something that you don't really understand uh, how it goes, but 505 Group signing out now. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe. 505 Group signing out now. I'll see you time. Please subscribe. 505 <laughs>